Every year, millions of people around the world are forced to flee their countries. Currently, there are 26.4 million refugees in the world who live in refugee camps, settlements, or in local communities. Kenya has a long history of welcoming refugees who fled their countries of origin to seek safety and security in another country. In Kenya, there are an estimated 475,865 refugees. Some refugees were born in Kenya to parents who fled their country many years ago, but who continue to reside in refugee camps with little or no freedom of movement and limited opportunity for economic inclusion. Their continued encampment in the Kakuma and the Didab camps and restrictions on their movement means that they are restricted from accessing education or finding work. Private sector actors such as banks, universities, businesses, employers, and others are typically unaware of how to appropriately and effectively engage refugees. Refugees cannot access labor markets to buy and sell goods or to seek employment, having to rely instead on the very limited economic activities that exist within the camps. Private sector companies are also unable to hire refugees or provide appropriate goods and services to refugee communities as they may lack information on how to do so. They are also not able to benefit from the skills, talents and knowledge that the refugees have. Refugees' participation in the formal economy is further hampered by their inability to send and receive money using mobile money payment solutions or transact using conventional banking systems. This is because of the nature of documentation they hold. A refugee ID is not always recognized by these institutions. Although refugees are, by law, permitted to apply for work permits, these permits are in practice rarely issued as the wide range of documents and conditions make the process unclear and difficult for refugees. Refugees residing in camps are unable to freely travel out of the camps to seek economic opportunities, visit their friends and family, or even access education in Kenya. This is because Kenya's encampment policy criminalizes refugee movement without a pass and the process of obtaining a movement pass is lengthy, arbitrarily, and unpredictable. These passes are temporary and refugees must frequently travel back to the camps to renew their movement passes all over again. But life does not have to remain this way for the thousands of refugees who are unable to realize their potential and live fulfilling lives. As more private sector actors show interest in working with refugee communities and Kenya's new Refugee Act promotes greater freedoms, there remains a need for action by the government, the donor community and the civil society advocating for refugee self-reliance, supporting refugees with information on movement passes and work permits, promoting an enabling environment for private sector investment, and expanding assistance to ongoing initiatives in refugee hosting areas through technical and financial support. Kenyan citizens can also play a part by sponsoring a refugee student and by supporting businesses or social enterprises that are run by refugees or that create decent jobs for them. For more information, visit 